We have started to see the spiraling out of control coming from Ray J and people are starting to speculate that Ray J is actually the Hollywood hookup and people are saying that he does a lot of strange things for change. In addition, the subject has come up with regards to Whitney Houston and his possible involvement in Whitney Houston's demise. Now, before we jump into this video, I do need you, but you guys know the drill. I do need you guys to make sure you are liking the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, please make sure to enable your bell notification. <laughs> Please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. There has always been different reports with regards to what actually happened to Whitney Houston. But we know that the coroner reported that Whitney died from an accidental drowning in a bathtub. Now, this occurred at the Beverly Hill Hotel. Now, it was also cited by the Los Angeles County coroner that Houston's death, although it was caused by an accidental drowning, she also had drugs in her system to include marijuana, Benadryl, Xanax, and cocaine. These were, you know, in her system, but the coroner reported that Although, you know, this was in her system, there was no contributing factor. So ultimately, her death was ruled that she drowned. And there's been speculation after speculation because some people seem to think or say that Whitney actually had bruises on her body. But one of the myths that has never gone away is how much involved was Ray J. Now, prior to Whitney passing away, Ray J was seen in Los Angeles. He did multiple interviews, including this one. Author, Mr. Ray J. Yeah. What's up, man? How you, you been? Doing really good. Doing good. Doing good, man. So a lot I want to new catch book. up with you. I know you got the new book. I want, new I want book. to get it. Before we get into the new book, though, I want to get a little rumor out of the way that I okay. heard. You've been seen around town with Whitney Houston. Now I know the rumors back in the day that y'all were hanging out, but, but what's the deal right now? We hang, you know, it's, it's, it's Grammy weekend and she's in town and um, we had dinner and you know, she's such an icon to where it, it, it reaches the masses. But you know, right. we, we had a good time, we had dinner, that's it. So platonic, good friend. Hey, there's worse people you can hang with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So how's she doing these days, by the way? She's doing good. Everybody's good, you know, and she's good. My family's good. You know, everybody's doing good. Good, good to hear. Yep. Your sister, mom, and everybody. Yeah, everybody's doing good. Nice. Brandy's setting up a new song with Monica. They're going to perform at the uh, Clive Davis Grammy party. Oh, great. There was speculation that Ray J and Whitney Houston had dated. Ray J had actually stated that they were just really close friends and wanted to keep their relationship private. He ultimately denied rumors of a relationship with Houston one time on Twitter, and he just basically said that she was a great friend of his. However, information had came out and had been reported that Whitney Houston and Ray J was actually dating right up until her death when she died in 2012. While neither Ray J nor Whitney Houston ever confirmed that they were romantically 
involved or in a relationship, the two of them made no secret of their fondness for one another. Now, in 2012, insiders told TMC that Ray J was crushed by Houston's death. Ray J and Stacey Francis also opened up about Houston's passing when they competed on the UK version of Celebrity Big Brother. Nobody can explain. It's all my fault. Now, this is what Ray J said. He said, all of that that happened, it's all my fault. Now, this is what Ray J said. So he seemingly referenced Whitney Houston's death as being his fault. He said, it's just, is it, I'm sorry. He said, it was just my fault because I wasn't there. Now, what we did end up seeing is we saw Ray J running out of Whitney Houston's hotel with his head covered up. And people had speculated that Ray J possibly had something to do with the demise of Whitney Houston. Now, although Ray J was seen running out of Whitney Houston's hotel in the area covering his face at Whitney Houston's funeral, Ray J was doing the exact opposite. In fact, as you can see, he is touching Whitney's casket then he sits down and as you can see his sister brandy is sitting next to him and he immediately breaks down now is this an admission of guilt well people tend to you know behave like this at funerals so just given you know this particular video this is this means absolutely nothing other than he was extremely emotional um but a very different um ray j because previously we saw him running out of whitney's hotel and actually trying to conceal who he was we know for a fact that whitney houston most definitely wanted to live she was full of life Although she definitely had her challenges, just like anyone I else. I sat down in her living room for an intense interview. It was the first time she ever admitted her drug addiction. She also told me something I'll never forget about her terror of performing, asking me as I was leaving, have you ever heard the sound of 10,000 people disappointed in you? As we said, her body is returning tonight to the church in Newark, New Jersey, where she first sang a solo and stunned the congregation. You know what I used to do, Diane? I would close my eyes like this, and I'd sing. I was so afraid, and I'd sing. And when I would open my eyes, the people would be what we call Holy Ghost fired out. They would be in such spirit a praise. I think I knew then that it was an infectious thing that God had given me. I didn't even date, my, date in my 20s. It was rough. It was rough. I think I kind of reverted back as I got older and said, well, I'm just going to party, you know. It was kind of a rebel in me, you know. Whitney dying, crack rehab fails. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Crack is cheap. I made too much money to ever smoke crack. Let's get that straight, okay? We don't do crack. We don't do that. Crack is whack. Is it alcohol? Is it marijuana? Is it cocaine? Is it pills? It has been, at times. All? At times. If you had to name the devil for you, the biggest devil among them? That would be me. It's my deciding. It's my heart. It's what I want and what I don't want. Nobody makes me do anything I don't want to do. It's my decision. So the biggest devil is me. I'm either my best friend or my worst enemy. 
and that's how I have to deal with it. But now do you say, not at all? Or do you say, I can... Well, I'm not going to tell you that. I could tell you that I am not self-destructive. I'm not a person who wants to die. I'm a person who has life and wants to live. Ten years from now, yeah. give me the perfect life for Whitney Houston. Retired, <laughs> sitting, looking at my daughter grow up, become a great woman of God, grandchildren. <laughs> um, a perfect day is like on like a Sunday or something like that when we like, like sit and you know, we either watch TV or like listen to gospel music or have breakfast together. And what do you like about your mom's voice? I like her voice because it's really nice and it makes me go to sleep. She sings you lullabies? I <laughs> love you. Oh. Dinner, dinner. I love you. <laughs> so, for the people out there who say, we want to help, we want to help build a barrier b between mm -hmm. her and drugs, mm -hmm. what do you want them to pray for? Don't pray about the drugs. Leave the drugs alone. Why? Don't, don't Why? Pray for me. As a person. For my soul, that I'm stronger. No matter, I don't care what anybody else says or did or what they claimed I was, I know I'm a child of God. So we all know that Whitney Houston was full of life. As you guys saw her there with her daughter, you know, she adored her daughter. Like she loved her daughter. So we know that she wanted to live. Now, I don't know if you guys recall, I actually had to look this up because I totally forgot about it, but... Bobby Brown's sister, Leola Brown, initially claimed that Ray J may have played a part in her death, in Whitney Houston's death. But then it was later, now I'm reading from an article that it was later determined that Ray J was at home when the incident occurred. Now, I just want to kind of show you guys or tell you guys rather how media works a lot of times you can get stories written on your behalf because initially everybody was wondering what was ray j's involvement and if you guys recall the video that i just showed ray j was running out covering his face now that is the cover your face of shame because if someone that you love had passed away i'm not sure why the first response that you would have would be to protect yourself to cover your face so that nobody knows that you were there of course in the heat of the moment he's not even thinking that people are taking pictures and all of that is going on but something definitely happened there and i don't know what ray j's involvement involvement was but it seems like a lot of people are pretty much thinking the same thing now let's kind of rewind this back we are living in an era right now um of we have a mogul sean diddy combs who is in jail now who would have ever thought that but if you guys recall and even myself i've never met p diddy but i've heard those stories same situation here why are people or why do people seem to think that Ray J had some kind of involvement in Whitney's death? And maybe, just maybe, that's why he is spiraling out of control because he's guilty. And of course, guys, please make sure you are liking the video. Don't forget to share the video and also let me know what your thoughts are and if you have not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and do not forget to enable your bell notification <laughs>